Fuck Nessick. Fuck yourself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your last comedian. He's the founder of this. He's one of the nicest guys in the world, and he's a bundle of energy. Hashem al Garhi. Make some noise. Come on. This is our last comedian. All right, just give me 10 minutes and I'll get out of here. How you guys doing? Get some noise! The power of a microphone, I guys I can command you to do anything and you'll do it. Make some noise! Woo! They didn't do it, shit. You gotta so it's okay. You gotta be me. Like, make some noise, everybody, come on! Woo! Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Let's uh, kick this thing off. I will uh, hopefully kick this thing off. All right. <laughs> so, uh, did your mom stay uh, today when you guys left the house? We're going to use Zakinas as an example. I'm looking at you. Zak? Yeah. <laughs> they did that, right? Your mom did that too. So, that's what Akharsh. Egyptian moms, they want to on and on you in any single way. You guys know this. Everybody knows this. Egyptian moms, they have this iron grip on you. I'll give you an example. Um, going out um, to get a piece of chocolate. Hey, I'm going to go Habibi. There's a supermarket, Mom. Tab Habibi. What did a harsh? I'm just going to the supermarket, Mom. What did a harsh? Egyptian mothers have the capacity that the only women in the world, God bless them, that can turn into doctors in three seconds. All you have to do is say three magical words. Are you guys ready for this? Habibi, Merak, Merak. Mama, I'm sure that about you too, Gadi. Good at nin spasmo can you guys? What? And then if 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 like uh, let's say Masalan Khalti is in the room, she will disconfirm what my mother just prescribed me, and she's like. <laughs> What? And in three seconds, she has prescribed you medicine, claimed how awesome it is, and claimed that you're gonna get well. So, round of applause for Egyptian moms for just being out there for us. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, Egyptian dads. We'll get to that. Um, they're the type of people that don't really. Um, Take no for an answer. So you say, let's apply the same situation. Oh, Baba, what the fuck are you saying? And you gotta make the faces to make it more dramatic. Oh, what's the other? Do it. Do it. Daddy knows best. I was like, Dad, how is this different than a drug deal? Now, let's go back to Egyptian moms for a second, because now, if they're, you know, for, for bait, obviously, because they're pharmacists, they have every fucking medicine in the cabinet. You have a headache? Panadol. You have, you know, botnok, piscopan, or spasmo, or whatever. Now, if you don't have medicine, you have to go to the pharmacy. There's the home remedies, the Egyptian home remedies that we all know. Now, let's do a little test. Let's see how, guy, how you guys know your remedies. Remedies, medicine, you know? Now, if you have a uh, koha, what do you do? What, what is the Egyptian remedy? Asal <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no. See, asal bil lamun. You guys agree? You guys agree with this? Asal bil lamun? But she missed an ingredient. A hint of blessing. Habit baraka. Because it makes all the fucking difference. <laughs> Pop, black eyed peas, the. No, no, pe what is habit baraka? <laughs> Nigella beans, seeds, because that makes it just like here, take hasal bil lamun, hasal bil lamun, habit baraka, and you'll be fine. It's fucking magic. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's move on, shall we? Uh, so I, I want to give you guys a little bit uh, history of Hezbollah comedy. I got the first official T-shirt. My thanks to Rami and my good friend. Thank you. I uh, I go to the gym now. Thank you guys can tell, obviously. <laughs> Who goes to the gym? Anybody in the gym? Anybody goes to the gym? Anybody a super dakar? I'm the only one. Rami, I'm the only super dakar here. That's awesome. I go to. I met my trainer for the first time. His, uh, I call him uh, Beard Muscles. He's uh, half Ikhwani, half Arnold Schwarzenegger. I walk in every time. He's like. 
Alaikum salam wa barakatuh. He's uh, he tells me he's like Hashim, I love you, but I I'm a Palestinian. And I was like, okay, I don't know how that made the connection, but okay. And then he's like, across to Israel, they have this natural hatred for Israel. I was like, okay, fair game. I was like, he's like, I'm just gonna fucking kill him. I was like, can you train me before you go on your little job? He's six two, loves jihad, squatting. <laughs> Romantic walks on the beach. <laughs> reading, Cor <laughs> reading his Quran in the corner while squatting. Very impressive there. I know, I know. He kind of like brainwashed his philosophy into me. So when I was, uh, you know, you know when you're in the gym, and you're pushing, and they're like, ash, ash, ash. He's like, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. And then I was doing my reps, and then. Subconsciously, has programmed is like Israel, Adua, Adua. Whoa! 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 Whoa!